begin. Yes. Switching gears for just a moment. Also in his interview with Maria Bartiromo the other day, the president suggested that people should be jailed for what he said earlier in the week was a very obvious crime. You're an attorney and the president's spokesperson. Perhaps you could lay out the elements of this crime. What crime was committed and in what way? I assume you're referring to the Obama administration and the unmasking and... The president called Obamagate. What is it? What are the elements of that crime? Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you asked because there hasn't been a lot of journalistic curiosity on this front and I'm very glad that you asked this question. Um, look, there were a number of questions raised by the actions of the Obama administration. Uh, the Steele dossier funded by the Democratic National Committee, uh, the opposition political party to the president, was used to attain FISA warrants to listen in on conversations of people within the Trump campaign. There was the unmasking, the identity of Michael Flynn. Um, and we know that in a January 5th meeting in the Oval Office with President Obama, Sally Yates from the Department of Justice learned about the unmasking, not from the Department of Justice or from the FBI, she learned about it from President Obama and was stunned and could barely process what she was hearing at the time because she was stunned of his knowledge of that. Um, we know that there was a lot of wrongdoing in the case of Michael Flynn. The FBI notes, for instance, that said, um, should we quote, get him to lie as they pontificated their strategy. We know that the identity of this three-decade general was leaked to the press, a criminal leak to the press of his identity in violation of his Fourth Amendment rights. These are very serious questions. They've been ignored by the media for far too long, and I'm very glad that I think that is the second question that I have fielded on Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, because justice does matter. Those questions, they matter. To be clear, I heard you mention one thing you said was criminal, and that was what? The one thing that I've said that was criminal? the leaking of his name and the very real questions that have been raised. But if you want to start talking about wrongdoing the administration, happy to go through Andy McCabe leaking to the Wall Street Journal um, and then lying about it. Happy to talk about James Clapper lying before Congress saying the NSA does not monitor phone calls. That was an inaccuracy, uh, to say the least. John Brennan telling Congress that the bogus steel dossier played no role in the Russia probe when, in fact, we know it did and was the basis of attaining FISA warrants. So uh, there's a lot of mistruths there that were said, many of them under oath. So I would point you to those and the many other real questions that I hope you all will pursue. Well, the president's view that those people should be jailed, the people you just mentioned. I never said that. Those are your words, not mine. But perhaps you should look into it and get me some answers. That is, after all, the job. That is, after all, the job of reporters to answer the very questions that I've laid out. And I hope you guys will take the time to do it. And and I also find it interesting. If we want to start talking about fabrication of crimes, we can litigate that case pretty publicly with James Clapper, um, who said what President Trump did with Russia, that Watergate paled in comparison. We can talk about Eric Swalwell lying and saying President Trump was working on behalf of the Russians. We can talk about Hakeem Jeffries lying and saying the president was a Russian asset. We can talk about Schiff saying there was ample evidence of collusion in plain sight when in fact there was not. Uh, we can talk about Mark Warner saying there's enormous amounts of evidence of collusion. We can talk about a CNN historian who said there was a smell of treason in the Trump-Russia probe when in fact for three years you all talked about collusion and there was none. And it was a huge injustice, not just to this administration, but to the American people who deserve truth not the alleging of absolutely false allegations against this president.